Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the prepped chef skillets. Uh, they do sell a standard skillet but these are the chef skillets. This is the 8 inch and the 10 inch. I did buy them as a set for 149 US dollars. They do sell them individually. The 8, 8 inch sells for 85 US dollars. The 10 inch sells for 99 US dollars. Now uh, I do want to read a little bit about them. Uh, and their philosophy so uh, here I'm gonna read what they have on their website they said introducing prepped chef skillet a lighter smoother and more agile cast iron by reducing the design to its simplest most minimal form prepped chef skillet is more than 30% lighter so they're claiming that it's 30% lighter than traditional cast iron without compromising its unbeatable searing power with it you can sear bake fry and even saute it's the ultimate everyday pan so that's their philosophy. Um, now let's get into what I initially received. So my skillets, when I opened the box and I was very excited to get this and check them out, uh, especially because I got a lot of ads on Instagram about these. Now I was very excited because uh, they look great, but mine have a lot of cosmetic issues and the biggest one for me and just what made me upset and not even wanting to review it was just the fact that the cooking surface which is actually milled has a lot of pitting especially on the 10 inch the 8 inch has a little bit of pitting but not as bad as the 10 inch that is the biggest con to this so quality control probably not the best now i don't know whether it's just my set or whether you're gonna get yours you know with cosmetic issues as well i can't say but um that's just something that i want to you know put out there guys now let's get into the cooking aspect of the video so as you can see i wanted to do something that you know a typical person that has bought in their first set of cast iron uh, will most likely try to do which is possibly breakfast so uh, as you can see here i scrambled two eggs and uh, that's on the eight inch and on the 10 inch i just did a piece of toast and i'm you know also brewing some coffee but uh, heat control is going to be one of the biggest things to, you know, nail when you want to do eggs. So if you set your burner on a very high heat, you're not going to have good results. You're going to have a lot of sticking. You're going to have a lot of issues. Uh, the other thing that you need to consider is also the amount of fat. So you want to add more fat, especially to new cast iron. Uh, if you don't have much use of use, you know, or you haven't used it, or if it's brand new, uh, you do want to build up your seasoning, which um, every cast iron piece needs. And uh, once you build up a good coat, then you're not going to need as much oil as you will in the beginning. But here I did add a little bit more than I typically do when I cook. But the eggs turned out great. Nothing stuck. And as you can see here, um, you know, nothing is glued on or stuck to the bottom. Um, and the eggs are nice and fluffy. They're not burnt. And... I'll be honest, it surprised me. It did a great job. So very happy with that. So the 10 inch, nothing much going on here because it's just a piece of toast. I'm just moving it around, making sure to see if there's any hot spots. But um, I, I can't tell anything because everything looks like it's browning really well. So uh, one thing that I do want to say is that the bottom is nice and flat. So you don't you don't have any spin and it does have a thicker bottom, which almost acts as a heat plate. So I guess you could say that's another plus to this. So uh, once again, you can see the eggs, they you know came out really well. And uh, the pan, nothing stuck to it. So, uh, all I'm gonna do now is just rinse it with some warm water and clean it out with a towel, paper towel. And uh, that's about it. So the, um, <clears throat> the 10 inch, as I mentioned, nothing much going on there, but um, it still, you know, did my toast really well, which I was happy with. And uh, it was a very great breakfast that I could enjoy. So for $150 so far, I, you know, I, I'm very pleasantly surprised, very happy. And uh, I don't have much to complain about. So stick around and you're going to see more. Hey guys, so on this one, we're going to be cooking uh, some French toast and also doing another scrambled egg on the skillet. This is the following day and I wanted to see without doing anything to the skillet if it was going to perform the same with the egg. And uh, sure enough, it did a great job and it did the same as well. Just cooked the egg really well. 
no issues there. Now, one thing with the 10 inch that I wanted to see is how much real estate do I have? What's the cooking surface like? And honestly, the cooking surface is very small, especially because this is a chef skillet. So two pieces of toast didn't really work, but the eggs turned out great once again. So uh, if you're gonna be using the 10 inch, um, it's honestly meant for, you know, something smaller because the cooking surface is actually eight inches. So you don't have much cooking surface and that's just something that I wanted to note. But other than that, it did a great job. No issues either. So very happy with the way that the 10 inch and the eight inch performed once again, no issues. So very pleasantly surprised. All right, guys, so the last portion of the video, I'm gonna put the 10 inch through its paces and see how well it performs and how well it can uh, cook a protein. Now with the eight inch, uh, you guys saw the egg test and it did a great job. It passed really well and it did, a, as I mentioned, it did a great job. So with the eight inch, I'm gonna saute some asparagus and some bell pepper. Now in the 10 inch, as you can see here, I did place a salmon filet. So um, I do have two pieces, but uh, as I mentioned before in the previous portion of the video, this doesn't have a big cooking surface. And the reason being is that it is a chef skillet. The walls are sloped. So uh, if you guys are looking for a true 10 inch, possibly I would look into the, um, the standard skillet, the cast iron skillet. But um, anyway, with all that said, guys, let's get into the video real quick. Now, I was testing the uh, salmon filet to see if it had stuck to the pan like glue, and sure enough, it did not. Now, I did mention that heat control is a big factor along with fat, so I did use olive oil, I did preheat these, and I'm doing the same thing with the eight inch. I'm preheating before I throw, throw in the vegetables, and uh, everything is doing great, no issues, and I'm very happy with the way it's doing so far. Now, let's talk about the uh, price. So I mentioned that it retails as a set for $150. Now if you're looking to get something that's similar to this, Smithy Cast Iron actually sells a 8 inch and a 10 inch chef skillet. Now their retail for the 8 inch is $100 and the 10 inch is $140. So uh, you're looking to spend about $240 so we're looking at almost a $100 difference. Now with that being said. That is a hundred dollars that, you know, a lot more than, than this set here. Now, the biggest difference is that, yes, this is made here in the USA, the, the uh, Smithy. The uh, prepped skillets, they are not made here in the US. As I mentioned, they are made in China or Asian made, not necessarily sure if they are made in China, but I know they are Asian made. Um, so with, with, if you're gonna consider purchasing the Smithy with that, I wouldn't, recommend the USA brands. I would recommend these because they're performing really well. They're holding up really well. They're cooking my my fish, uh, my salmon filet really well. The uh, sauteing of the vegetables are doing great. So uh, no issues and the seasoning is holding up well. Um, and just day after day that I'm using these, uh, you know, it, there's less that I can critique them about. Just their biggest downfall is just their quality control. Uh, mine came very pitted. I don't know if it was just my set, but um, I don't know if you know all of them come pitted in their cooking surface. So for me, that that's you know just for $150, I don't want pitted cooking surface. But that's just being me. Now, as I mentioned, if you're looking for a comparison, you know that you're going to be spending about $100 more if you opt for USA made. Uh, cast iron pans that have that are milled now let's talk about lodge because lodge is one of the biggest usa made cast iron companies um, you know in the world pretty much and and here in, in the usa with lodge lodge also sells chef skillets and they sell a larger variety of chef skillets um i would not consider these if I'm gonna buy a lodge because you're paying a fraction of the price and you can get so many more skillets for that price. You can buy maybe four or five skillets for $150 if you're going uh, towards lodge or if you're gonna purchase lodge. So with that being said, lodge is almost unbeatable in that, in that sense. 
Um, it still does a great, you know, a great job searing. It still will hold up really well and it'll last for generations just like these. Now, Lodge's biggest downfall for many is just the fact that they don't mill their surfaces anymore. But if you can overlook that, uh, Lodge, as I mentioned, almost unbeatable. They offer high quality and uh, great cast iron. So, um, and, and not just that, but a huge variety and it's made here in the USA. So if you're considering, you know, to purchase these and you're basing it off of uh, comparison with Lodge, then there's no reason to buy these. You know, you're, you're gonna be saving so much money if you just go with Lodge and you're getting a USA made product. Now, if you're comparing it to the higher end USA made, you know, as I mentioned, Smithy, uh, Finex, Stargazer, Field Company, Butterpat, those are going to be a different story because these are cheaper than those so you know as i as i said earlier a hundred dollars is a hundred dollars and that is a good amount of money i'm not going to say that it isn't because it does hurt the wallet i'll be honest because uh when you know when i consider doing reviews for these i do purchase these with my own money so i you know i have to kind of see which one i want to review next and go that way and uh, if i have the money then i will consider it but um, as a reviewer for you guys, these prep skillets were on the budget and uh, it worked for me. So I decided to do the review for these. And in the beginning, just uh, I didn't want to do the review at all because I was very upset of just the amount of money that I paid and the fact that they were cosmetically, you know, just not what I wanted them to be. Uh, as I mentioned, with all the pits, just not what I was expecting. But with all the cooking that I've done so far with these, they've done a great job. They've performed really well. They've held up really well. Seasoning is just, you know, getting better after every use. So there isn't much to complain here. Just as I mentioned, if you're comparing it to Lodge, it's a no brainer. Just go with the Lodge. If you're comparing these to the higher end brands like Smithy, then that's just something you might want to consider. You know, Prepped is a good contender. So uh, initially I think that, um, just me thinking that it wasn't going to be a great pan for the cosmetic side proved me wrong. So, uh, I, you know, and I will accept that. Yes, uh, you know, they did a great job. You know, nothing burnt. As you can see here in the video, uh, the uh, vegetables cooked really well and the salmon filet cooked really well. Nothing stuck. I could clean out my pan after I did the first salmon filet. I cleaned it out and did another, you know, the other salmon filet and it cooked really well. So um, with all that said, guys, I hope you guys found this informative. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And as always, I appreciate your time. Thank you guys for watching.